Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send an email to the email address below. Are you a professional or a businessman? Do you desire to earn in dollars, euros, or pounds? Have you chosen to take your business to the world? Does it look like a daunting task? Do you desire to know what you need to do to get ready to go global? Do you know that there is a science behind making your product or service to go global in a successful and sustainable manner? To learn more about it, get a copy of the book titled to go global. A scientifically proven, tested, and trusted template for building a successful and sustainable export business. To so pre-order at 50% discount, call 080 912 Are you an account officer? relationship manager or marketer in a bank? Are you struggling to meet your income and deposit targets? Are you on the verge of losing your job without performance? Do you desire a change for the better in your career? Then register for the Certified Global Trade Management Profession from the American Institute of Extended Studies to acquire skills needed to solve import export trade customers problems and consequently attract the deposit and income of the transaction to your bank. Registration is currently ongoing. Call this number to register today. Are you a professional or a businessman? Do you desire to earn a dollar, euros, or pounds? Have you told you take your business to the world? Does it look like a daunting tax? Do you deserve to know what you need to do to get ready to go global? Do you know that there is a science behind making your product or service to go global in a successful and sustainable manner? To learn more about it, get a copy of the book titled to go global. A scientifically proven, tested, and trusted template for building a successful and sustainable export business. To order, call 080 Are you a retiree? Are you an employee looking forward to retirement? Are you an agro processor, a farmer, and a manufacturer of different items in Nigeria? Do you desire to earn foreign exchange in euro, dollars, and pounds? Are you interested in expanding your market beyond the shore of Nigeria? Are you looking for how to start doing export business? Do you have an order and looking for how to go about exporting your product abroad? Then I have great news for you. Great Impact Trade Academy, in conjunction with American Institute of Extended Studies, brings to you from export novice to export legend. This is an export mentoring program that helps you step by step until you achieve your goal of doing a successful and sustainable export business. New enrollment is currently ongoing. The program costs $1,250 and there are flexible payment plans to fit your budget. Enroll today. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? 
then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the Global Trade Tutor .com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send an email to the email address below. All right, good evening, everyone, and thank you very much for joining to this evening. This another interesting episode of our program. And this program basically explored the opportunities available to African businesses under the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. And the objective of the program basically is to help to prepare Nigerian business and Africa in general for the African Continental Free Trade Agreement which created the African Continental Free Trade Area. If you are yet to get the book, Beauty Go Global, this is a book that basically provides information to you on how to avoid the pitfall that many people have experienced as a result of trying to go into this business. The copy can be delivered to you wherever you are in Nigeria at no extra cost. Voice of African Trade. Voice of African Trade is a YouTube channel where we have all the previous episode or the previous edition of this program. Voice of African Trade is the YouTube channel where you have all the previous episodes of this program. So if you are looking to have access, remember we are today doing Ocean State. If you want to see other states that we've done in the past, please join the YouTube channel subscribe, remember to share, also click the notification bell so you know when new videos are uploaded. If you also want to get the link to this program directly every week, you can join our YouTube, our um, Telegram channel. It's a trade community we are building on Telegram. On this channel, every week, the link will be dropped for you to be able to join this program. So today we are going to Oshun State. We've been to Abia, we've been to Adamawa, Akwaibom, Anambra, Bauchi, Benue, Bayosa, Bornu, Cross River Delta, Ebony State. We've been to Ekiti State, Edo State, Enugu State, Gombe, Imo, Jigawa. We've been to Kaduna, Kano, Katsina, Kebi, Kogi, Kwara, Lagos, Nazarawa, and Niger State. Three weeks ago, we were in Ubu State. Last week, we were in my state. My state is Ondo State. And this week, we are in Ocean State. For those that are familiar with the governor, the new governor of Ocean State, it would be great if this can be considered so that uh, Ocean State is among the states in Nigeria that really do not have enough um, funding. It's one of the state and the Kitty State. They are said to be not viable. They are said to be non viable. And the reason basically is because, and the reason basically is because they are not able to generate enough revenue. And we'll see the data today. And we'll see the data today. We'll go on a short break when we come back. When we return, rather, we get started with this state. Are you a retiree? Are you an employee looking forward to retirement? Are you an agro processor, a farmer, and a manufacturer of different items in Nigeria? Do you desire to earn foreign exchange in euro, dollars, and pounds? Are you interested in expanding your market beyond the shore of Nigeria? Are you looking for how to start doing export business? Do you have an order and looking for how to go about exporting your product abroad? Then I have great news for you. Pretty Index Trade Academy, in conjunction with American Institute of Extended Studies, brings to you from export novice to export legend. This is an export mentoring program that helps you step by step until you achieve your goal of doing a successful and sustainable export business. New enrollment is currently ongoing. 
The program costs 1250 dollars and they have flexible payment plans to fit your budget. Enroll today. So we're starting with preamble as usual and then peculiarity of this step. Profile of this interesting state, then the potential of ocean state, the purchaser of what ocean state is capable of exporting, and then we we'll round off with the proposal and profit of export to ocean mm -hmm. state. Why should ocean state export to avoid over dependence on federal allocation? Why should ocean state export to boost the GDP of the state? Why should ocean state export to create opportunity for SME to grow? Why should ocean state export to decrease dependence on domestic market? Why should ocean state export to end export proceed? Why should ocean state export? To make farm and real life become more lucrative, why should Ocean State explore to gain global market share and recognition? Why should Ocean State export? Export is capable of making the state home of creativity and innovation. Export is making, able to make the state become an industrial catalyst for the state. It's a sort of job creation for the state. It can help the state to know the value of what it has as competitive advantage. It can help the state to live the way for other states to follow. It can make the state to be independent of the federal government. It can make the state to state business to enjoy numerous incentives of the federal government. There are numerous opportunities to maximize the indigenous of the state abroad. And I've spoken about this a lot, about the fact that there is need for a very serious synergy between Nigeria and home and abroad. It's a sort of power eradication in the state. You can decide to quit the lead of state depending on wasting assets like oil, help to revive the economy of the state, slow down runaway migration. It's a tax opportunity for exporters in the state. Utilization of ID capacity, it can help to boost the viability of this state, well creation opportunity for the citizen of the state, can be said to yearn for more improvement because of competition, and more importantly, zeroing in on its area of strength. What do you see in Ocean State? What do you see in Ocean State today? Sorry for the break in transmission, little issue with my network. What do you see in Ocean State today? Do you see the fact that state is said to be non-viable? That's true, but what do you see in Ocean State? Do you see the fact that there's unemployment and that's correct? What do you see in Ocean State today? Do you see very high level of uh, poverty? What do you see in Ocean State today? Frustration, these are all challenges of Oshun State, not just Oshun State, many states in Nigeria. But this session is to show opportunities in farming, opportunities in mining, and of course, opportunities in our population. Opportunities in farming, opportunities in mining, and opportunities in our population. Opportunities in our population. Opportunities in our population. And this is very important because we need to find We need to find where the opportunity lies in every state of the population. 
We need to find. We need to find. We need to find. We need to find. Where lies in every state of the population of the uh, in every state of the of the nation, rather. So there's opportunities in our population, opportunities in mining, and opportunities in farming. We're going to show you when we come back, we'll be discussing more about this state or should state. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send an email to the email address below. All right. Or should stay was carved out of your state. In August 27, 1991, Babangida region. It's located in the southwest, a landlocked state, occupying 9,251 square kilometers. Oshun State, share boundary with Kwara, Oyo State, Ogun State, Ondo State, and Ekiti State. It's nicknamed the land of Basho, derived its name from the Oshun River, the venerated natural spring. That is manifestation of Yoruba goddess of the same name. Oshun State provide, produces over 40,000 tons quality of cocoa annually, a major gold deposit also in Nigeria. And you will see the level of indebtedness of this state, despite the fact that it has gold. This state, the debt is so high. Very, very high. There are many states also in Nigeria. But it has gold and it produces a lot of cocoa. The people of the state are Yoruba and they trace their origin to Odua and religious development to Yoruba culture. Other important cities include Ilaorogun, Ede, Ilesha. The state name is derived from River Oshun, like I said, it identified. National Spring, where annual tradition, traditional festivities are held. I mean, Oshun, Oshogo Festival is a very, very popular festival in Oshun State. With visitors from Brazil, Cuba, Senegal and Tobacco, Grenada, and other nations in the Americas, North America, and South America, with a significant Yoruba cultural heritage. This state has investment in agri, has opportunity for investment in agri, land manufacturing, health, tourism, energy, mining, and, uh, and the like. It has 30 local government, small, 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 small local government, 50, uh, sorry, 5 million people live in Oshun State. 5 million. Oshun State is bigger than some countries in Africa. <laughs> Vegetation is tropical Havana. Major crop, cashew, cocoa, maize, cassava, oil palm, tobacco. Soil minerals, gold, clay, limestone, kaolin, and granite. This is the third largest producer of cocoa in Nigeria. Has the lowest poverty rate in Nigeria. It's home of tourism, host of annual famous Oshun Oshobo Festival, largest deposit of gold in Nigeria, 16 plus hours per day of constant supply of electricity in the state capital, fifth in the forestry subsector in Nigeria. Investment opportunity exists in cashew, in gold, in tourism, in cocoa, in cassava, in education, in forestry, FESPA, granite, and power. 
Oshogo, I mean, Oshogo is the capital, of course. And this state have huge opportunity for growth. Let's look at the working population, about 3 million people. Those not in labor force, 1.2 million. Those in labor force, 1.8. Out of those 1.8, gainfully employed, 1.1. The remaining are not gainfully employed. 1.2 are not in labor force in Ocean State. We'll go on a short break. When we return, we'll be looking at the profile of this state. Are you a retiree? Are you an employee looking forward to retirement? Are you an agro processor, a farmer, and a manufacturer of different items in Nigeria? Do you desire to earn foreign exchange in euro, dollars, and pounds? Are you interested in expanding your market beyond the shore of Nigeria? Are you looking for how to start doing export business? Do you have an order and looking for how to go about exporting your product abroad? Then I have great news for you. Pretty Impact Trade Academy in conjunction with American Institute of Extended Studies brings to you from export novice to export legend. This is an export mentoring program that helps you step by step until you achieve your goal of doing a successful and sustainable export business. New enrollment is currently ongoing. The program costs $1,250 and there are flexible payment plans to fit your budget. Enroll today. All right, profiles. Profile. The IGR of this state is about 20 billion. Federal allocation is about 50 billion. Total, about 70 billion. The debt stock of this state, domestic and foreign together, 174. Foreign debt is 107 million. A lot of states in Nigeria having foreign debt. We have to incur more costs to pay back that debt because of this exchange rate differential. But you know the interesting thing? The state can easily pay back without having to buy dollar if the state adopts some of the idea being shared in this program on the state beginning to consider to export by itself, to export by itself. Let's look deeper into this state. The state IGR, 19, 24%, sorry, about 28%. About 71, 28.5% IGR, 71.5% federal allocation. Go and look at the operating expense, 71% of the total budget. So, and that's about 46 with the IGR of Oshun State alone. Oshun State cannot pay his salary, cannot run the government, cannot pay his debt. But this is the one of the largest producers of cocoa and largest deposit of gold in Nigeria. Just imagine this state owes 32,000 per, per, per citizen and is investing just about 3,500 in its capital expenditure per capita. IGR per capita is 3,000. 678 naira. 678 naira. This state cannot pay its operating expense without depending on Abuja. But the objective of this program basically is to show how this state can make money from export. Let's see what budget I have to say about this state. According to budget report of Nigerian state, or should say the man number 13 in the fiscal performance ranking, nevertheless, the land of Bashi is still highly dependent on the handout from federal government. Very risky fiscal strategy, especially considering the fact that crude oil price is volatile. The statutory allocation declined in 2020, probably because of COVID.
Someone is asking, how do I get FDA certification? Do I need it? Yes, you need FDA in, in spite of NAVDA. I would recommend you visit Nigeria Asset Promotion Council office. I'm sure they will be able to assist you. I would recommend you visit Nigeria Asset Promotion Council office. I'm sure they will be able to assist you. That's for Julia. Commendably, year on year, its internal generated revenue increased by 9.74%. However, this is not enough. The state is still existing beneath its true potential. It has the smallest IGR per capita, which is smaller than the average of average IGR per capita in Nigeria is 4,600. But this state is 36,600. Oshu State was one of the 17 states that deprioritized capital expenditure, cutting year on year spending by 37, from 30 to 18. This is Governor Yetola. Maybe this explains the reason why it could not be returned. Cutting capital expenditure, I don't think is good enough for the state. Furthermore, per capita analysis indicate that Ocean State capital expenditure translates to a mega investment of 3,500 per capita. There raised some concern about the debt of interest and the capacity of the state capacity the state has in investing infrastructure development of the state and can improve the quality of life of the citizen. In contrast, there was a slight 7% uptick in expenses recorded for operating activities. So there is decline in capital expenditure, but increase in operating expense. The state need to look to boost this idea as allocation to capital expenditure may highly be affected by low revenue. With a total debt burden of 174 billion, the state has one of the highest total debt per capita, 32,000. Statutorily, it's 37,000 per capita per citizen. But this state is 32,000, more than the average of Nigeria. This means future debt servicing and repayment obligation will continue to drown out a sizable component of the state's future revenue. I didn't look at a lot of work to do. <laughs> Loan repayment got about 21 billion in 2020, third largest loan repayment made by any state in Nigeria. Simultaneously, SNR debt has hit all time high of $107 million. High debt burden, imprudent fiscal planning, misplaced expenditure priority could carve a clear path to financial difficulty for the state. You know, sometimes when I see the way some of the governors, people fight to become governors, sometimes it doesn't appear they have an idea of what they're going into. Anyway, sometimes they believe they can borrow and leave the place and let the other person worry. But I know this cannot continue for too long, sincerely, because it's totally unsustainable. Let's go on a short break when we come back. We now look at the potential opportunities in the Hassan State. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send an email to the email address below. All right. What are the potential opportunities in Ocean State? The people of the state are mostly farmers, poisoning food like uh, yam, maize, cassava, beans, cocoa yam. The cash crop grown include tobacco and palm produce. Transfer in the state is either by road or rail. Ocean economy is based mainly on agriculture. Like I said earlier, yam, cassava, corn, bean, millet, plantain, cocoa, palm oil, palm kernel, and palm fruit. Cutting industry produce brass work woven cloth and wood carving. Woven cloth and wood carving. 
Someone said, what is the advantage of OAU you know, should stay? As I graduated there, I was, I was thinking, okay, a year ago, this could add international students who pay fees in FCY. <laughs> in foreign currency. Again, I hear some French aspirants talk about revamping and building steel mill. I'm aware of a steel rolling mill in Oshoko. Any economic relevance now and in the future? I think so, actually. You know, the opportunities for production in any state in Nigeria is you because the state has a lot of uh, minerals that can be used to operate these uh, factories. I, I, you know, when state government get involved in certain operating plants, we might just have white elegant project like the one in uh, River State or Cross River, where they are looking for someone to come and uh, take it over. I would rather we work with private sector and create a system that will enable different SME to emerge. Different SME to emerge. Covid industries produce brass work, woven cloth, uh, wood, carving. Oshogbo, the state capital has a textile industry, food processing plant, a steel rolling mill. The people of the state are mostly traders. The people of the state are mostly traders. Artisan, and of course, like many other states in Nigeria, farmers. The cash crop in this state includes tobacco, palm produce, and of course, cocoa. Artisan, rather, make and woven textile, and dye, clothing leather work, calabash, carving, mat weaving, cash, major crop cashew, cocoa, maize, palm oil, tobacco, Salmonella gold clay, limestone kaolin, granite, limestone kaolin, and granite. Who are the buyers of this product? Who are the purchasers of this product? Let's look at them one by one. For corn, for example, Asians buy, European buy, North American buy, even African buy, and South America will also buy. The total market size is $36.3 billion. In Africa alone, there is a market for corn, $3.73 billion. So there's opportunity for shoe state in making money exporting corn. The next one is cassava and cassava product. From Europe to Asia, $2.11 billion, $19 million market in Africa. Cocoa beans. I am one of the people that believe that cocoa is overrated. Look at the market size for cocoa, 9.56. Even corn has a better market for cocoa than cocoa. I always say that if one Nigeria wants the foreign exchange, there are some products that we're not taking seriously, but should be our priority as far as export support and promotion is concerned. Sometimes it's like we just want to do some, be in some sector, mainly, probably for, uh, is it prestige reason? Because I really cannot understand. I really cannot understand why we can say we should not export corn, 
But we should export cocoa. And you are looking for foreign exchange. The market size is 9.56. Netherlands, Germany, Belgium, France, Malaysia, United Kingdom, United States rather, um, Singapore, Turkey, Japan, Canada. $54.2 million. Ghana, Tunisia, Algeria, Egypt for cocoa beans. Another product that we don't really, for reason best known to government, is palm oil. Palm oil. Palm oil is twenty nine point three billion in Africa. It's about four point two eight billion. Whichever way you look at it, this state has huge opportunity to make money exporting palm oil. Huge opportunity to make money exporting palm oil. And I'll talk about this and how it will work shortly. In Africa, 4.28 billion. Egypt, Kenya, Tanzania, Ghana, South Africa, Angola, Benin, Togo are major importers of this product. Raw tobacco, 10.7 billion. Raw tobacco. In Africa, almost a billion. We'll go on a short break. When we come back, then we'll be discussing my proposal to Governor Dilekin in Ocean State. Are you a retiree? Are you an employee looking forward to retirement? Are you an agro processor, a farmer, and a manufacturer of different items in Nigeria? Do you desire to earn foreign exchange in euro, dollars, and pounds? Are you interested in expanding your market? beyond the shore of Nigeria? Are you looking for how to start doing export business? Do you have an order and looking for how to go about exporting your product abroad? Then I have great news for you. Pretty Index Trade Academy in conjunction with American Institute of Extended Studies brings to you from export novice to export legend. This is an export mentoring program that helps you step by step until you achieve your goal of doing a successful and sustainable export business. New enrollment is currently ongoing. The program costs $1,250 and there are flexible payment plans to fit your budget. Enroll today. All right. So my proposal to Oshun State Government. So let's assume we want to work with a product like cashew nut or cocoa, or oil palm. So let me use cashew nut. Let me use cashew nut. In a typical value chain for agri, you will see production, harvesting and transport, Primary processing and storage, secondary processing and packaging, marketing and sales, logistics, export and distribution. There are SMEs in Nigeria that are involved in the same SME, creating inefficient value chain operators, low process capacity and low output, few job creation, low quality and packaging, high cost of production non-competitive products in the export market. Because we have the same SME, sometimes we have different SMEs, but as long as they are SMEs, it will be very challenging. If the state wants to support exports, support businesses, can you partner with a private sector to build a large processing plant, either for cashew nuts or for palm kernel or for palm, palm uh, fruit to produce palm oil, or for cocoa to chocolate. SME one is the farmer producing, harvesting, and transporting. SME two buys from SME one, give it to this large corporate, and this large corporate, we collect it, 
And when it collects it, you know what it does? It will process into finished product and package it in my brand. So that means this large corporate can process for many businesses who will have created enough job for SME2 to have plenty of SME2 selling both locally and the international market in different brands. This creates efficient value chain operator, high processing capacity and output, good quality and packaging, low cost of production and competitive product in the export market, increase job creation, decrease inequality, and of course, decrease insecurity, decrease insecurity, decrease insecurity. In order to support exporters in this state to enter the export market in Africa, in Europe and America, in a secure and sustainable way, the state can do the following. Partner representative at destination to market and secure control. Set up warehouse for pickup by a wholesaler and retailer at destination. Set up an entity, agent or distributor at destination. Partner with independent agent or distributor at destination. Organize and sponsor manufacturers for exhibition in the export market. How can the state make money directly? The profit to the state. The state can make money directly. Let's use cocoa, for example. If the state used half of the arable land to plant cocoa at the yield per hectare of 1.5 metric tons, we can get the yield of about 260,000 metric tons. That's more than what Nigeria currently produce. It's been said that Nigeria produces between 200 and 250 metric tons, 1,000 metric tons of cocoa. Or should state at a price of about 2.4, can generate $637 million. Convert to Naira at 4.15, $264. Now, the state is supporting farmers to, to farm this product for the government. But the people farming also get paid at a cost of farming of about 6.93 billion, cost of export about 15, total of about 26, net of the cost. The state with IGR can still have 258 billion. What is the budget of the state this year? 129. Now, how can the state make this work? The state can partner with the private sector to set up a special purpose vehicle, otherwise called SPV, provide fund while these other partner provide expertise, form farmers into cooperative across the state, give them purchase order to buy what they produce, give them a guarantee that they will buy, support them in farming. Cocoa might take about two to three years for the new variant. Some other product might take less. And if, if it's cocoa, that means twice a year they can harvest and then the state can export. The idea is that the state, the state support land impute and provide a collection center for harvest. FPB clean and process this product for export, source for buyers, do documentation and shipment, present document to the banks for payment, get paid, and of course share, pay the farmers with profit on their effort, and of course pay his partner, retain songs to run the business, and has more than enough. More than enough to support the budget of the state. The impact of this suggested model for state government goes beyond generation of revenue via export. It has among us impact on employment generation and increased economic activity in the state. This, in my opinion, is a more effective and efficient and enduring model for diversifying the economy of any state in Nigeria. This model can also reflect the federal government at the federal level, especially for the exportation of solid minerals. Let's go on a short break before we round off today. Are you thinking about too much, much export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? 
Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send any email to the email address below. Are you thinking about all right, next week we are going to Oyo State. That is the mother state of Oshun State. Uh, Oyo State, play two state, rivers, Chokoto and Taraba will be done in December. And by January, we'll be doing Yobe and Zamfara State before we move on to a new topic. The new topic we're going to be discussing is going to be focusing on market access uh, and how we can use online medium to be able to assess market to get buyers for different products for export. Are you a professional or a businessman? Do you desire to earn in dollars, euros, or pounds? Have you chosen taking your business to the world? Does it look like a daunting tax? You deserve to know what you need to do to get ready to go global. Do you know that there is a science behind making your product or service to go global in a successful and sustainable manner? To learn more about it, get a copy of the book titled Pubix to Go Global. A scientifically proven, tested, and trusted template for building a successful and sustainable export business. To pre order a 50% discount, call 080 912 Build to go global. I don't know if you have this book yet. If you're thinking of going to export, this book will save you a lot of headache as you get prepared for the export market. If you're also looking to have access to this video, you can visit our YouTube channel voice of African trade, subscribe, like, share, drop your comment, and remember to click on notification bell. If you want to get the link to this program next week, feel free to join us on the Telegram platform, African Export Business Platform. Are you a retiree? Are you an employee looking forward to retirement? Are you an agro processor? a farmer and a manufacturer of different items in Nigeria? Do you desire to earn foreign exchange in euro, dollars, and pounds? Are you interested in expanding your market beyond the shore of Nigeria? Are you looking for how to start doing export business? Do you have an order and looking for how to go about exporting your product abroad? Then I have great news for you. Great Impact Trade Academy in conjunction with American Institute of Extended Studies brings to you from expert novice to expert legend. This is an expert mentoring program that helps you step by step until you achieve your goal of doing a successful and sustainable export business. New enrollment is currently ongoing. The program costs $1,250 and there are flexible payment plans to fit your budget. Enroll today. Are you a professional or a businessman? Do you desire to earn in dollars, euros, or pounds? Have you chosen taking your business to the world? Does it look like a daunting tax? You deserve to know what you need to do to get ready to go global. Do you know that there is a science behind making your product or service to go global in a successful and sustainable manner? To learn more about it, get a copy of the book titled Pubix to Go Global. A scientifically proven, tested, and trusted template for building a successful and sustainable export business. To pre order a 50% discount, call 080 912 Are you an account officer? 
relationship manager for marketing in event? Are you struggling to meet your income and deposit targets? Are you on the verge of losing your job without performance? You desire a change for the better in your career. Then register for the Certified Global Trade Management Profession from the American Institute of Extended Studies to acquire skills needed to solve import export trade customers' problems and consequently attract the deposit and income of the transaction to your bank. Registration is currently ongoing. Call this number to register today. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send an email to the email address below. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining today. See you next week and have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.